Hello. Good morning. If you can't tell, yes, I faced my tan last night. I tanned my face last night. Saint Tropez tanning water. That's all that I do. That's it. That's it. Look at the difference, babe. Stunning. She is stunning, queen. Milo would be so embarrassed if she just saw me act like that on the internet for millions to see. Milo, I apologize in advance if you see this, honey. I promise I'm the cool mom. Isn't that funny though? I always like wished I had a cool mom, whatever that even means, right? I mean, a cool mom in my eyes is like a good mom that like takes good care of her kids. But I always wished I had a cool mom because I had a really, 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 really strict mom. And I felt that I became a cool mom until Myla humbled me by letting me know that I'm not cool at all. She doesn't think I'm cool. So what, what would like, give me an example in the comments of like what a cool mom would be. Just curious. And no, my main goal isn't to be a cool mom. My main goal is to be a mom who addresses her kids' emotional needs, takes care of her physically, mentally, spiritually. Can I not talk today? But also I'm kind of cool, no? I feel like cool mom and young mom get grouped together a lot, but they don't always go, they don't always go hand in hand, right? Like they don't always run parallel. I used to be a young mom that was by no means a cool mom or a good mom, but we grow and we change and we do recover. I really need to stop starting out these videos in a robe. It's gonna start be to become a thing and I don't want it to become a thing. But the point is, is hello, good morning, happy Saturday. It is game day. So many of you have requested a game day vlog. My, my opinions on this kind of stuff is like, if I have to like blur everything out and edit to the T's and edit to the gods, then it's like, what's oh, really the point, you know? But we're gonna go for it. So our game today is an evening game. It is at 4 p.m. I have, my cheerleaders have to be there 45 minutes early so that we can warm up. And then I like to get there a bit earlier than that. So with that being said, Myla and I are scheduled to leave here by 2.30. That gives us wiggle room. I always allow for about 15 minutes of wiggle room, and I usually need it. So um, it's also a home game, which is super great. We have one of the greatest fields, um, and it's just closer location-wise. And the girls have a lot of fun when these games are later at night. Because they're young, they're used to morning games. And so these night games with the lights on the field, it, they're a lot of fun for the kids. Um, so we're excited. We're really excited for this. I feel like one of the biggest questions I get as a single mom who's just always busy is how do I maintain my energy levels? And if I were still in my early or even mid 20s, yes, my answer to that question would most likely be caffeine. And I do. I do drink caffeine and you guys know that. But as I approach my 30s, right, the real answer <laughs> is supplements, right? Giving my body the things that it is lacking. Consistency is key and habitual changes lead to real results. With Care Of, you get tools and motivation that help you track how you're feeling, notice the results, and adjust your routine as needed. As a busy mom, I skip out on taking vitamins and supplements because I don't know which ones my body needs and because I have a very busy lifestyle. Care Of is a supplement brand that provides you with a quiz that will ask you about your mood, energy levels, and more. By taking their quiz, Care Of will tell you exactly what your body needs and also what it's lacking. Care Of then creates a personalized concoction of supplements that will in time absolutely change the way you feel and live your life. I've been using Care Of for about a month now and the biggest difference I've noticed is my energy. It's always been the energy for me, babe. After you take your quiz, you will be provided a concoction of supplements and Care of will send you a 30 day supply worth pre-packaged for each day. On top of this incredible convenience, each packet also has a sweet little phrase on it. If you feel like this is something that could benefit you, um, definitely check out Care Of's website, take their quiz. I'm gonna put a link here as well as a QR code to make it super easy for you guys to get to the quiz and get to their website. I also have a promo code, Abby F. Don't forget to use this. This will get you half off your first month of care of vitamins. With all that being said, we are in a hurry. We need to get to the game. Let's go cheer. Don't forget to click that link if you want to try care of, go take the quiz, and don't forget to use promo code, Abby F. to get you 50% off your first 30 days of supplements. That's much better. So uh, today is the first day here in Pittsburgh where it actually feels like fall. It's been like mid to high 70s. I think the high day is like 65. So today really feels like fall. It's a really great day for football. Um, 
And for those of you who don't know this, um, my daughter goes to the same school I went to. It's a wonderful school. Um, but she also, of course, cheers uh, as a cheerleader for the same district that I cheered for. And so it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of really cool full circle moments, especially with me being the cheer coach now. Um, and that was something that I always thought would be really cool to do. I, I, I never thought it would actually happen. Um, so yeah, a lot of full circle moments. But with that being said, I wanted to show you guys something because I have a vintage high school cheer like varsity warm up jacket that is literally from oh my god you guys it's from before i was a cheerleader i washed it yesterday and i want to wear it to the game today let me see if i can find it so i can show you guys okay here she is this is so fun look at this this is literally a real varsity cheer warm-up jacket look right there you have the little varsity tag on it, it has some pockets so anyway i want to wear this it's a quarter zip I think it's so fun and so vintage. You know what this would look adorable with is a like Lululemon skirt, but I don't have any skirts like that. Wait a minute. I do have some Halara skirts, but they're not, they're not, I don't think I have a black one. Oh, that would have been so adorable. Now I really want to go buy like a little skirt, a little athletic tennis skirt, because how cute would that be? And this is probably the last game I'd be able to wear a skirt to because then it's going to be too cold. Oh, that would be adorable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready while I have time before Sissy arrives. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get ready and then um, we'll wait for sister to get here. We'll get sister ready and then we'll head out the usual vibes. So anyways, happy Saturday. If you want to come along with us today, let's do it. Also, just a word of advice. Do not apply a pimple patch sticker if you're also going to apply self tanner. You would think that is an obvious thing, but apparently I think I'm above the rules and that it's not going to happen and then I'm not going to have a big circle. You're not above the rules, Ab. You're not above the rules. There is literally a man parked in my driveway right now. I don't know why I'm busy, so I'm not gonna go out and investigate the situation. Like, if you need me or if you need something from me, you're gonna have to come to the door, except I don't have time for this today. We have a lot going on today. So the dogs are in the backyard just absolutely barking their heads off at the fact that there's a car in the driveway and I'm just gonna let the dogs do that. Um, because I just, I can't be bothered today. The doors are locked, we're safe. And also, by the way, I feel like I say things like that and with little context, it could sound sketchy. Like we live in a very good area. Um, very good area, very good district. I don't live on some main road. The only people that are coming into my neighborhood are people who have a reason to. I live in a no outlet street. It's a dead end. It's super cute and quiet, little cul-de-sac. And again, this is the same neighborhood that I grew up in. So, you know, it's not to say that things can't happen anywhere. Of course they can. But I feel like when I just come online and I'm like, hey, there's a random guy in my driveway. I'm just going to keep doing my makeup. That sounds a little bit crazy. Um, and plus with everything that recently happened with the house, I don't know. Who knows? It could be an estimator. It could be somebody from insurance. But my point is, is that they've just been sitting in their truck for 20 minutes now. So, and I got to get ready. So we're going to just keep moving. <laughs> Pretend like it's not happening. All right. Now I'm feeling like I should bring the dogs in. Girls, come on. Come inside. What does it do out here? What is it doing? Do. Look, Portia's already <laughs> investigating the situation. You guys are losing it, huh? Well, whatever. Just let it go, girl. That's the other thing people need to realize. Like, I have animals and you're making them go crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you're making my animals go nuts because you're sitting in my driveway. Oh, now the mailman's here too. So we got lots. Oh, here he is. He got out of his car. He's literally just walking around my house. Oh, he's taking pictures of my roof. It must be somebody from insurance. Not me trying to, like, rush and eat my food because I don't want to share. And Milo's going to be here soon. <laughs> I didn't even do that consciously. It like hit me. I'm like, girl, relax. Like, I usually do make her a snack before the games when she gets here, but like, I tend to eat some. I don't even think she likes these anyways. I have my truffle mac and cheese balls. I'm not sure if she's a fan of these anyways, but either way, I caught myself like rushing and trying to do this before she gets here. Maybe I just want to eat in peace. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to sit at the table enjoy my mac and cheese bites 
Not my retainers. Oh my god, they're so good. But what I was going to say is I'm going to sit here and eat these and do some stuff with cheer. Write down some notes and some eight counts for the game. Because this week we're performing part one and part two for the first time. We've only been able to perform part one. We were a little bit behind this year. Things were a little different with camp and stuff. And then with absent, uh, with girls like not being at practice, it just like kind of made everything take longer. So we're performing part one and two for the first time. And I have all these little scribble notes and I want to make it like easier and more legible. So I'm going to work on that while I eat. Mm. Oh God. Well, sitting here writing down some counts for the pyramid and a girl knocked on the door selling Sarah's chocolate. <laughs> so now I'm eating a Sarah's chocolate. Sounds a lot like Mila might be here, according to the dogs. Yep. <laughs> and Honey kept sniffing for that, that pig ear. Like Honey really wanted that pig ear because I've never gotten pig ears before. So I got two to be fair for Portia and lo and behold, Portia is, I mean, I mean, she almost ripped my hand off trying to take it from me when I was just taking it out of the wrapper. So yeah, apparently they like pig ears now. I was literally just sitting here eating lunch and a girl knocked on the door and was like, I'm selling Sarah's chocolate and hoagies. I was like, I'll buy some chocolate off of you because I wanted to be nice. But I figure you could put them in your lunch and stuff. He doesn't love some Sarah's chocolate. We're gonna start getting ready here soon for the game. Three, four, I'll go some more, five, six, Nike kicks. Here, come here, Nike kicks. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh. Cute. <laughs> Mommy. You got bees? Mm, Don't be scared. No monsters. No, there's a monster. Don't be afraid. Yes. Guess what? The monsters is actually very nice. No. Yeah, they are. No, the monsters are in my hair. Huh? The monsters are in my hair. The monsters are in your hair? Yeah. And the other monsters... I'm sorry, what? What? What did you say? What did you say? I said what? What? <laughs> you are feeling feisty today. What? <laughs> You're a feisty little girl. What? Yeah. Okay, you want a low pound? Do you yes. have a pound holder? I need a pound holder now. Yeah, I, I have one, but it, it decided to go home. It, what? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> okay, come on. Can you get it? We gotta... I retrieved. <laughs> Your hair's gonna get so messed up. I'm trying to get it. The struggle is real. Good job. That's a beautiful song. I know, right? You can never. I have a self-defense tool. If anyone comes near me, I go. Don't come near. It's called the Sol Janeiro Mace. <laughs> if anyone comes near, I go. Don't waste it. I know I'm. You're just showing it an example. Myself. Yes, it's coming toward myself, so now I smell. Kaka. This is my cap where I protect my nose. I am now Pinocchio the Noser. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bow box. Bow box. Mommy. Mama. Yeah, my love. I can hear you a little bit. <laughs> Was that a real burp? Yes. It was? I can burp on cue. You can cue. burp on cue? Yes, I'm gonna burp. Burp. Oh. Was that is that real or fake though? Mm. I yeah. cannot I could never burp on in fact there was a time in my life where I had never burped before. My mm. friends all thought it was so insane. I had never burped before. Mm. You look adorable, my love. Very I good. have daddy's power where I can burp on cue. What a special power to have. 
Oh, honey, your hair looks really pretty today. I know, right, Mommy? So sleek and pretty. I can't Beautiful, my love. Mommy's gonna get dressed. Did you brush your teeth, lovey? Um, no. You haven't? Brush your teethies when you're done. I'm going to get dressed. It does not matter how much time we give ourselves, somehow I'm always ended up in some crazy rush. A little quick check. Do we like the vintage? Hey, Myla. Yeah. Can you go to the dog pen? Oh, when you're done, take your time. I can tie them for you if you need me to. So, honey, got upset. Oh, okay. Honey, I know, I know. Honey knows we're leaving. I'm sorry, we have to go. Sissy has to go cheer. Look at you girls, so sweet. Sissy's getting her shoes on. Okay, we are filling drinks up. And we are out of here, babe. If I can get your lid on. Okay, there we go. Sissy's drink. Now let's get mommy's drink. Thank you, Myla. Here, give her, uh, you can give her that phone. Throw that phone in there. Thanks, Myla. Here. Thank you so much. That's a really big help that you brought her in there for me. Thanks, okay, Myla. Whenever you get the check. Yep, yeah, right now. I'm gonna, I have our drinks ready. Doors locked. Now let's tie your shoes, Angel. All right, we're out of here. Oh wait, I need to find, I need my retainers. I gotta oh, they're in the bedroom. They're in my bedroom? Uh, wait, wait. Thanks, my. And this is where my Bluetooth kicked in in my car and you cannot hear a word we're saying. Basically all I'm saying here is it's so rainy and so crappy outside and we just know we're gonna get soaking wet and there was really no point of getting ready at all. But that's okay, we're still gonna have fun. And now me and Myla are each gonna put a little bit of lipstick on. My cheerleaders are getting flowers on the field today. It's rainy, it's cold. I know you guys are freezing. You're doing a good job. When we go out there, that turf is gonna be slippery. I'm talking even just hustling. I told her she could give you a hug. Say bye, Daddy. Go to hurry though, okay? Okay. Call me if you need me, okay? She's running down the hill. Goodbye, baby. Okay, this has been rough to say the least. I can't do this, look at this. Okay, once I got in my car, the Bluetooth connected and I completely lost audio again. But right here, I was just saying that I literally couldn't feel my fingers or my toes. We were truly so, so, so cold. I am driving down to the other parking lot to meet up with Mimi and Myla so that I can give Mimi the rest of Myla's stuff since she is going back to her dad's for the rest of the weekend. So I'm just trying to defrost. So I drive down to the other parking lot, right? And as I get there, I spot my kid. Literally hilarious. Please, please, you guys. <laughs> Milo went with Mimi. I just got home. I cannot wait to take a warm bubble bath. Okay, I just fed the dogs dinner and I'm taking my butt right into the bathtub. I am so cold and I just want to lay in the warm water. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'll probably just eat dinner. I need to order groceries to be delivered tomorrow to prepare for the school week. But me and Milo really do have an exciting day tomorrow morning. I'm excited for when I can like start talking about it with you guys. It's a little early, but we'll get there. I we'll get there. I hope you guys enjoyed this Saturday vlog. Love you all so much. Mm -hmm.